اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی اسکوئر ٹیسٹ آف انڈیپینڈنس فار ڈسکریٹ ڈیٹا ان دس سیشن وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ کائی اسکوئر ٹیسٹ آف انڈیپینڈنس فار ڈسکریٹ ڈیٹا انٹروڈکشن نو کائی اسکوئر از ون آف دا ویری پاپولر میتھڈس فار ٹیسٹنگ ہائپوتھس آن ڈسکریٹ ڈیٹا ڈسکریٹ ڈیٹا کین بی نامینل اور آرڈینل فائنڈنگ ڈسکرپٹو اسٹیٹسٹکس فار سچ ڈیٹا از میننگ لیس فار ایگزامپل let's say religion is nominal scale data position is ordinal scale data the only summary statistics usual for such data are frequencies and percentages contingency tables along with some chi square statistics are useful on such kind of data you cannot take the mean of such data that will be totally meaningless so what we prefer for such kind of data that is nominal or ordinal is frequency and percentages how frequent is a value in the data set and what's the percentage of that frequency given below are some examples of business and social sciences related studies where the chi square test of independence can be used along with contingency tables to get a meaningful insight into a problem <coughs> An international business researcher wants to establish if the performance that is categorized as loss, break even and profit. Now there are three categories. These are ordinal scale or this is or the performance is measured on the ordinal scale. There is an order loss, break even and profit. Of a firm is dependent on which country categorized as low, middle and high income. so your performance is dependent on your country that is cat- categorized as low middle or high income countries moving on another example could be an organization's researcher wants to determine if the satisfaction level that is measured on a scale from 1 to 3 of the employees of a firm is dependent on their placement whether they are placed locally or internationally now this actually leads to their satisfaction level and finally a researcher would like to identify the association between personality that is whether a particular person is introvert or extrovert and whether this is associated with their preference for color maybe red yellow green or blue now what are the basic concepts there are three different types of chi square analysis chi square test for goodness of fit chi square test for homogeneity chi square test of independence Now this is the particular test we are going to focus on today. Now the chi square test for goodness of fit determines if the sample under investigation has been drawn from a population which follows some specified distribution. While the test for homogeneity investigates the issue whether several population are homogeneous with respect to the particular characteristic. However, these two tests are not very common. what we are going to do today is we are going to focus on chi square test of independence or chi square test of association it's also called or referred to now the chi square test of independence is used to test the hypothesis that the two categorical variables are independent of each other a small chi square statistic indicates that null hypothesis is correct and that the two variables are independent of each other and vice versa so a higher chi square statistic would indicate that these two variables are not independent of each other but rather they are associated with each other the procedure involves comparing the observed cell frequencies with the expected cell frequencies so what is meant by observed cell frequencies and expected cell frequencies Now observed cell frequencies are the actual number of cases falling in different cells and expected frequencies are the number of cases that should fall in each cell For example let's go back to our example and let's have a look here A researcher would like to identify the association between personality that is introvert or extrovert 
and color preference now an introvert personality may prefer red some of the introvert personality may prefer red yellow or green now against their personality you will have the color let's say i'm introvert my color preference is blue another introvert might prefer green another one might prefer blue or yellow this is what i am observing because i'm collecting data on these particular values the preference of color against the personality and the expected in this case would be that should actually fall into these particular categories so expected frequencies are the number of cases that should fall in each cell if there is no relationship between the categorical variable the basis of test is the difference between observed frequencies and expected frequencies while observed cell frequencies can be directly obtained from the given data because this is what we have collected the data on the expected cell frequencies are calculated now how are they calculated i'm going to give you an example now look at this here this is the contingency table that we were referring to in the text now look at this 13 here this is the observed value why is it called observed value because 13 people who are introvert chose red as their preferred color 15 people who are introvert chose yellow as their preferred color 29 people who are introvert chose green as their preferred color 13 people who are introvert chose blue as their preferred color so total in total there were 70 introverts and 80 extroverts and there and the sample size in total was 150 out of 150 there were 70 introverts and 80 extroverts now how do i calculate this this value here expected cell frequency while observed cell frequencies can be directly obtained from the given data the expected cell frequencies are calculated by multiplying the total of the row that is here total of the row 70 by the total of the column here total of the column so what is the expected count for red the observed count is 13 what is the expected count multiplying the total of the row and total of the column so 70 multiplied by 22 divided by 150 70 multiplied by 22 divided by 150 let's do it in excel 70 multiplied by 22 divided by 150 10.26 which is if you round it off 10.3 have a look here now there are two types of frequencies that you are going to get one is observed cell frequency this is what you have collected the data on have a look here here personality number one the color preference is one personality one the color preference is four so what is this one and two and four for personality introvert is one extrovert is two for color preference one two and one two three and four for each personality there is a preference of color so the researcher went to the people and asked them okay what what is your personality so they chose maybe extrovert or introvert and against that personality they chose their preferred color now this was observed because the researcher actually went and collected the data on it now when you are using chi square test of statistics you need to have observed cell frequencies and expected cell frequencies how is this value calculated expected count you multiply the total in the row with the total in the column divided by 150 that is and you will get 10.3 similarly you can do it for all the values and this is your expected count along with the chi-square statistic we also need to find the degrees of freedom associated with the contingency table to find the significance of relationship now degrees of freedom is calculated by multiplying the number of rows minus 1 by the number of columns minus 1 the degrees of freedom and significance level are used to find values of chi-square from the standard deviation 
we do not need to manually calculate it SPSS will always give us these results if the tabulated chi-square value is less than the calculated chi-square value the null hypothesis is rejected and we conclude that there is some association between the two variables the test can also be applied to ordinal categorical variables while we can test the independence of relationship between only two variables at a time that is the limitation the variables themselves can have many number of levels for example you might check the association in different cities so you've got the variable city and then in each city you have got data from people with different personality and their color preference now in each city you can have different associations so how do we use this chi square test in spss in this case the problem is to identify the association between personality that is introvert or extrovert and whether this personality is associated with a particular color preference that is red yellow green or blue the null hypothesis in this case is that there is no association between personality and color preference now how do you run this how do you do this in SPSS so let's go to SPSS and here is our data what we need to do is we need to go to analyze descriptives cross steps analyze descriptive statistics cross steps now color preference let's put it in rows personality and city is your you can use it as a variable a categorical variable now you want to check the association of personality with preference in different cities so you can put it in as a layer but for now we are not going to put it go to statistics select chi-square press continue you can have different op options you can have expected frequencies as well you can have percentages in rows and columns you can have different options for now we are just going to press ok now look at this here this is what we saw earlier as well moving on look at this Pearson chi-square 0.209 is it greater than 0 0.05 yes your significance value is greater than 0 0.05 this means there is no association between personality and color preference so how do we analyze the output let's look at this here this is our case processing summary personality into preference we have had a sample of 150 and these are the sample details now look at this here personality into preference cross tabulation we already had a look at it moving on now a chi-square test is not suitable if there are less than five cases in any of the cells you must have at least more than five cases do we have less than five cases in any of the cells no what if a cell has less than five cases a chi-square test is not suitable if there are less than five cases in any of the cells now in this case we've got over five values or over five cases in each of the cells now what if the cases are less than five in that case we are going to use fisher exec test now how do you run this we are going to use the similar procedure analyze descriptive cross steps go to exact and select exact here this option of exact just press continue press ok and here are your results now look at this fisher exact test look at this p value 0 0.206 this means that again there is no association between the two variables in this case we are going to use chi square because all these cells have got value greater than 5 moving on how do you report these results so here is a similar analysis of the output you can see that your p-value is 0 0.209 which is greater than 0 0.05 so there is no association there was no significant relationship at 5% significance level between color preference and personality so you report your chi-square degrees of freedom and your p-value 
How do you report these results? What you can do is you can first write the problem. Then you write your hypothesis. In this case, our hypothesis is there is a significant association between personality and color preference. If it was to be our null hypothesis, we would have written there is no significant association between personality and color preference. How do you report the results? Chi-square statistics were used to examine the association between categorical variables. So what are our categorical variables? Personality and color preference. There is an insignificant association at 5% significance level between personality and color preference of respondents. You report your chi-square, degrees of freedom and p-value. Hence, H1 was not supported. Now this is how you run, analyze, interpret and report chi-square statistics. Thank you very much.